<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Hoka Life, where apparently my character is looking confused. No, it was the shortcut key I used for OBS to start my recordings. Uh, brought up that menu. So anyway, hi! Look, I remembered you hit C uh, for just a quick wave and F I think, is it holding down? I thought F was the emote menu. Why was I thinking that? I was trying to remember from back in the... No. I'm trying to find... I know there's a more full emote menu. I thought... No... Well, anyway, we could do a quick wave. <laughs> so I know we can get mayor's points or merits or what are these called? The mayor badges, rewards for like waving and stuff. So I wanted to work on doing that. Um, we do have a quest to build a bridge. So we need to craft 10 wooden planks. I think I need 20 logs for that. So we're just going to start chopping down trees. Hopefully we'll be getting a shovel soon. Whoops, there we go. Uh, for digging up stumps and planting new tree seeds. But we could do with a little clearing out here. Hi, Oleander. We're actually still on uh, Friday, day five of spring, which is right where we left off on the last episode. I like literally just finished recording that about 10 minutes ago. And I was having so much fun, I just wanted to keep going. I can get this tree here. Don't go in the water. Don't be a Stardew Valley tree and go in the water. <laughs> it went in the water. But hey, the logs stayed up here, so thank you. I appreciate that. Got it. Yeah, this way we can see the houses. Can I add like the little repair box? No, maybe we'll get a quest to repair that one or whatever. I don't remember how all it works. Oh, we've got plenty of logs. Let's go craft what we need for the bridge. 10 planks. I love how fast that is. Hi, Sally. How's it going, teammate? I like that we're teammates. Looks like you got all the wood we need. Super. I threw together a quick design for a bridge that I think will work. Do you want to have a go making it? A bit of a big project for your first build, but I know you're up to the task. I like that now she just gives us the blueprints for these. We don't have to, like stress over making just the perfect bridge all on our own. See the design table just there will have with all the drawings and paper on it. That's where you can turn designs into real objects. Interact with it to get started. Will do. Small bridge unlocked. The design table is where you turn designs into real objects. Interact with it to continue. Okay, come on. Oh, <laughs> it actually wants me to do it. Hello. Choose an existing design to customize or craft. We want to build the design Sally gave to us. You'll find a list. Okay. Select the bridge design to show information about it. This screen shows you information on the selected design. Choose build to turn the design into a real object. Hmm. That said it needed 54 planks, but we only had 10. I guess they go easy on us on the first one. I told you you could do it. That bridge is going to do a great job of getting us over that pesky river, I'm sure. Now all that's left to it left is to find a good place for it. I'll leave that in your capable hands, teammate. Count on me. I want to see something. Yeah, normally in the next one it'll take 54. Cute. I wish I could change the color of it. Maybe eventually that's something we can do down the road. 
Just like furniture and other items, you can place bigger things like the bridge by selecting it in your backpack. Select the bridge to enter placement mode. I don't want to do it right now. I'm obviously not in the right spot. <laughs> All right. So where do we want to put this bridge? I wish Nico's house wasn't there. I'd like to go like Caddy Wampus. <laughs> to use a word my grandma used to use. Right there. Um, we might just put it right through these two houses. Let's see what we got going on over here. Yeah, that's Sally's place there. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we'll just do it right here. Hey, we're having a little ceremony. Well, well, what a magnificent bridge. Look, Oleander's already checking it out. Well done, Moxie and Sally. You've truly outdone yourselves. My teammate Moxie did all of the work, really. I just gave them the design. Oh, our little town is growing up. It brings a tear to my eye seeing the lovely things you've been doing for us, Moxie. Aww. You know, I'm sure there are other folks out there who'd love to come live with us here. In fact, I'm certain one or two visitors at my inn mentioned they'd be interested in moving. Hmm. Sadly, we don't have any houses for them to move into, though. Ah, but we do. With a little bit of work, Moxie here put together enough resources to renovate one house. I'm sure if we ask nicely, they'll help us with the second one. Of course. See, I told you, Moss. <laughs> Seriously, though, that would be wonderful of you, my dear. Here's another donation box. Do what you did last time and interact with the house. All right. Fill it with resources, and in time we'll have a delightful new home for a new villager to move into. How exciting. I'll fix it. Let's check out our bridge here. Oh, I don't like that that pops up. I wanted to clear... I wanted to get a good little thumbnail of our bridge. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find a good spot. Well, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Alright, let's put a donation box. Let's see what this one needs. Just 40 logs. Okay, we can do that. Might as well just keep working on the trees on this end just to make room so we can see the houses. <laughs> I can't even get to it. Okay. I'm trying to get to those logs. Okay, I think. There we go, that time. Hello? Ugh, can't get that one. I'm stubborn. There we go. Yeah, I can't wait to get rid of all the stumps. Hi, Nico. <laughs> I love that name. That was our cat's name. Spelled the same way as well. I miss that cat. That was a good cat. <laughs> he was a sweetie. So it's fun. We have a Nico in this game. And we have a Nico in Animal Crossing, too, with the Happy Home Paradise. He's a cutie. This will be a nice big place out here for some houses. I remember there's a really cute little round house I eventually want to get all the materials for. Um, so I can make one and put it on the beach. I think that would just be adorable. And I never got far enough to do that on the last playthrough. And I decided to start um, the episode count over. Since the other one was more early access, and this is now the f full release of the game, so I started over at episode one. This will be episode two. I thought it would just be a little bit easier. Since we had to do a fresh fresh save file, a fresh start, just made more sense to me. I'm sure we've got plenty of logs now. Oops, I keep hitting I for inventory. Oh yeah, 63. Yeah, we're going to run out of wood if I can't get a shovel soon.
Oh, <laughs> hello. Did we forget what we were doing? Oh, stop trying to cut it. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Oh, geez, let's just do it this way. <laughs> another little ceremony well won't you just look at that another house beautifully restored I must say you've really made a big difference since arriving here Moxie it makes me smile to see how much our little town is growing oh I wonder who's going to be our first lucky new resident how exciting this calls for a celebration I think sweet hey it's our good old friend Benny Everybody, I'm very happy to announce that the renovation of our second home is complete. All thanks to the wonderful Moxie here. Another great job done, Moxie. Wow, these guys are really good for my ego. The town feels very different now These those old buildings have been replaced, I must say. Benny, um, did you just say you'd renovated a new house? Poor Benny, he just looks so haggard and tired and like just done with the business world. <laughs> oh, yes, Moxie here helped us renovate a house. Our little town is growing. Hmm, I um, don't suppose you have someone in mind for the new home. Now that you mention it, we don't actually. Oh, are you interested, Benny? I know you've been talking about moving for a while now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Weren't you just saying how much you were fed up with your job? Well, yeah, but packing everything up and moving away is a big change. That's true, but it doesn't have to be. Maybe I'm biased, but I think you should definitely move here. Yeah, come on, Benny. Moxie, you moved in recently. What do you think? Do it. <laughs> well, then. You know what? I'll do it. Oh, he was so excited. The screen shook. Tomorrow, I'm going to hand in my resignation. Yay! It won't take me that long to pack, either. Well, that settles it, then. You won't regret it, Benny. And now that we have Moxie here helping out around town, I'm sure it's just going to keep getting better and better. Oh, how exciting! You'll love it here, Benny. I think another big thank you is in order. That's a lot of thank yous. We're good. <laughs> thank you for renovating the house and providing a home for our newest resident, Benny. Yes, thank you, Moxie. Good job, Moxie. You must be exhausted after all that work. Oh, a little. Maybe we should call it a night there. But I want to talk to, like, get Rosa. I think that's the piggy's name. Get her moved in so we can start building more houses. Okay, we need our energy to help Benny move in tomorrow. Yeah, he's going to have, like, two boxes. <laughs> you really don't have to. I can manage myself, you know. Nonsense. With a little bit... Help. The task will be done in no time. Okay, well, if you don't mind, we'd love to help you move into your new home. There's a lot more dialogue now than there used to be for this. Now I think it's time for us all to get a good night's rest before the big day tomorrow. Good night! So I think we're now... Yeah, day... What day did it say? Oh wow, we're already on day seven? Weren't we just on day five? Did we just sleep through like two days? <laughs> Thanks for helping, Oma. I think that's the last of the boxes. It really was no trouble, dearie. Ah, Moxie. We've just finished moving Benny into his new home. You know, I can already feel my mood lifting. The house is really great, Moxie. I would never have the energy for such a renovation project. Now I've just got to unpack. Or maybe it's time for a nap. Oh, I'm always down for a nap. <laughs> it's still the morning, Benny. Yeah, but there were a lot of boxes to move. Two boxes, Benny. <laughs> you had two boxes. <laughs> yeah, but they were still heavy. You can have your nap if you like, Benny. This is a stress-free town, my dear. And what could be more stress-relieving than a good nap, eh? If I may... Now that we're done with the move and the paperwork is completed, I'd like to have a word with you both, Alma and Moxie. This sounds interesting. What's on your mind, Rosa? It was Rosa, wasn't it? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rosa. I run a well-established real estate company in this area. I've seen the work you've been doing here, Moxie, and I must say I'm impressed. 
The town really has become quite the attractive location. I feel it would be a great opportunity for everyone if I were to set up an office here. I have a solid group of contacts and would be able to assist in the construction of future properties. With your consent, I could have my office set up by tomorrow. Would that be something you'd be interested in? As I say, it would be quite the opportunity for you. Oh my. That all sounds very official, official, doesn't it? What do you think? Should we build some more houses? It would be lovely to have more residents and friends here. Let's do it. Very good. I'll begin the paperwork and arrange everything with my people. I've already taken the liberty of getting clearance for a new building in the town center and construction will be complete tomorrow. Excellent. <laughs> How exciting. Very good. With that then, I'll bid you all a good day. Please do come by the office tomorrow when it's completed. Good day. <laughs> let's say hi first. Let's wave. Oh, they didn't notice me waving. Oh, Moxie. Actually, you're just who I wanted to talk to. I noticed you've started chopping up logs. Soon you'll be chopping up trees, too. And before you know it, we'll not have any left. I know, it's a problem. I think you should make every effort to stop this from happening. Okay. Now, I'm not one to tell people what to do. But what you should be doing is planting trees. Yes, I would love to be doing that. You don't look busy. Why don't you plant some now? Okay. Quite right. You've got a shovel, am I correct? Nope. Well... That is unfortunate. Dang it, I've got a little gnat just like buzzing around in here. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. You seem pretty good at crafting things. Maybe you can craft a shovel? It can't be that hard. I'll try. Yeah, that's... I don't remember having to craft it before, but maybe we did on the last playthrough. <laughs> Dang it, this thing keeps flying right at my face. It's just the little teeniest gnat. Tell you what, to make your life easier, here's a crafting recipe. Now all you need are the resources, and you can craft one. Come back to me when you're done, and don't dilly-dally. All right. Let's say hi to Nico. Aw, oh, man. I was trying to keep track of billionaire Tronk's daily activities so I could play my next prank, but... Yeah, I think I lost him. All right, that's weird. Hmm. Benny has a bed, but he hasn't unpacked yet. Normally, I remember in the very early access, they would ask you to unpack for them, so I'm not going to unpack. We'll see if he asks us to do it. Otherwise, we'll do it. It's just going to be like a little radio or TV, and then like a blender or a toaster, I think. Gather resources for the shovel, and wait for Rosa tomorrow. Oh, here's Benny. Feels great to have finally moved here. So many new names to remember, though. Yeah. Fine, I'll unpack for you. <laughs> Should steal his stuff. Yep, his blender. I like his bed, it's cute. A little TV. We'll just leave those where they are for now. <coughs> So what do we need for a shovel? Wooden plank and wooden logs. Lovely. Let's check our merit achieved, bonus, cash reward. Yeah, bag of cash. <laughs> Let's see, now we have to return to Oleander. Does the bag, yeah. Whoop, okay, that just went into, okay, we now have 151. Did they ever give the currency a name? Doesn't look like it. Oops, sorry, Benny. Hmm, that's a well made shovel you've got there. Good job. Anyway, excuse me, Oleander, if you could look at me while you're talking to me. No? Okay. Anyway, I've got some seeds here for you. There are six in total. Plant these in any holes you dig, and we'll have some new trees in no time. Well, I'm going to dig up these stumps just to get them out of the way. 
Okay, or I'm gonna try to. Why is that not going over this? There we go. I'm not gonna plant trees here. It just, it blocks the houses. Matter of fact, we're gonna get rid of this one too. That one grew overnight, because nothing was weird blocking my fence before, but we'll leave it. Let's get our shovel, just get rid of these. All right, we can put one here. No, oh, got a worm. I recall we need a lot of worms for making bait. How many seeds do we have? Oh, we've got 15 total. I need to learn how to make stairs. Why can I not? I can't go that far yet? Huh. Why, why am I limited on where I can go right now? That's weird. I should be able to access all of this. I want to go through and dig all my holes first. Hey, dig it. <laughs> there we go. It was just a little glitchy. button. Switch to our seeds. I forget how many days they take to grow. Let's see, we're on Sunday the 7th. So I'll try to remember that. We could probably do a few more down here. I don't know if now if I have more more holes than seeds. <laughs> mm. I still have trouble with that. There we go. I definitely do need to get grab my controller. I forgot to charge it, so I have it plugged in. I can't use it right now. But I might do that. See how the controls feel. See so yeah, how there's there's like an invisible barrier weird. <laughs> Sorry if I'm kind of hitting the keys kind of loudly on my keyboard. Yeah, what is with all these little invisible walls I keep running into? Oh, do I still have just one more? Let's plant one more then. Do we need to go talk to Oleander? Hey, bag of cash. My favorite kind of reward. Let's go talk to Oleander. Well, Benny looks like he just had a nice chat with somebody. Well, you did a good job of planting those trees, Moxie. Maybe I was wrong about you. I can't let you off that easily, though. I've got something you can help me with. Yes, something else. Kids today. 
<clears throat> I've been very upset to see the amount of flowers around here decreasing over the years, and I can't stand by and just watch it happen. Now, of course, I can't just go around bending up and down planting things. Yeah, I'm a little old for that now, too. You're clearly not busy, so I thought you could go and get some flower seeds from Moss, and then plant them, of course. Sure, I'll help. That's the spirit, kid. Make sure Moss doesn't give you any of that cheap rubbish now. <laughs> I almost forgot where our little path to town was. I'm used to my old map. Let's see what he has for sale. Here's where Rosa's uh, realty store is going. Realty store? I speak good. <laughs> oh, cute. Little boombox. Floor. Oh, I, I like this little plant. How much is the plant? I'd like to know. Moss, can I not buy your things yet? Maybe I can't buy things yet. Alright. <laughs> ah, Moxie. Excuse me, I had to cough, so I muted the microphone for a second. What can I help you with today? Flower seeds. Oh. Planting flowers, are we? How wonderful. I've got plenty of seeds here. I actually have an extra bag that got delivered by mistake. It seems to be a mix of different seeds, so if you don't mind your flowers being different types, you can have that. Yes, please. Excellent. <laughs> here you are. Thank you. By the way, how are you getting on? Great. That's good to hear. In particular, I was wondering, how are you doing for cash? Ain't got none. <laughs> Ah, yes, that's what I was worried about. No doubt you've got a bunch of stuff in your backpack you don't need or want. What do you say I take those things off off of your hands? For a price, of course. I've er, got a guy. <laughs> He'll buy anything, so, well, if there's anything you don't need, just come speak to me and I'll buy it off you and pass it on to him. How does that sound? Sounds great, but I don't actually have anything yet. Just come and speak to me whenever you have something you'd like to sell. Does that mean I can buy things now? Yes. Oh, I'm buying it. It's only 40. That's the only splurge. What's this flooring? Light ash wood, though. Look at the pretty forest scene wall. I could sell him my little fence that I made. I don't really know that I want that. Oh, I want to go see how the deconstruct thing works at Sally's workshop. That's kind of new. So let's pick up our fence. Let's put our other plant away. Cute. B for put in backpack. I'm very curious about this. So if I click that and then click no. Deconstruct this. I didn't see it. it. I don't know if it said how many logs or what I got back, but the fence is definitely gone. So I don't know. I should have looked at how many logs I had. Hi, baby girl. I got both dogs in here napping. It's so sweet. Okay. Hopefully we'll run into that person we ran into before who teaches us how to um, catch butterflies. I guess I'll just do what I did before, too, and just... Um, Plant some of the flowers around here. And switch. 
switch to our shovel. Look, Oleander, I'm doing the work. I'm doing the work. Aw, not really any room over on that side of the bridge. I almost wish I had sort of um, restarted a couple times, like got a better little layout or something. I mean, this isn't bad. It'll be fine. I just wish there were more room on the other side of the bridge for some decorations. keep having to think if I hit Q, do I hit R? <laughs> yeah, I know. There we go. Hopefully we talk to Oleander now. Well now, that's much better. Those flowers will make a big difference, I'm sure. I suppose a thank you is in order, Moxie. So, er, thank you. <laughs> I suppose you want something in return. Here's a little cash for you. Run along now. Well, fine. <coughs> Pardon me. I do want to explore a little bit. Let's go check out our beach. Yeah, I want to start catching butterflies. That's a good way of making some money. We could sell some shells. I don't know if we can craft steps yet. I think we have to kind of keep going along with the story. The tutorial, how it's laid out. So I'd like to be able to go unlock fishing as well. I've already forgotten how the fishing mechanic works. I do remember we need to craft different kinds of bait to attract different types of fish. Let's just see if we have that butterfly person visiting. I don't think so, though. Might have to sleep through a day. Or we're actually probably close to the... Yeah, why, why, why is this blocked off? We're probably close to wrapping this episode up, actually. Yeah, I'm going to have to check the bug reports for this one. See if that's a boo-boo. I mean, obviously it is. Hopefully it's a known one being worked on. Buy my stuff. Uh, I'm gonna keep everything but the two shells, actually. So that's not really much, much to sell, but better than nothing. Let's go see what time of day is it. Just almost two. Let's see if there is anybody in here. No. Let's go sleep for a couple hours. See if there are any visitors who might be looking to move in. Might not have any until after the realtor is set up. Let's do another two hours. Nope. Um, Oma, am I able to take the things from here? You don't mind, do you, Oma? We'll, we'll let her keep the food on. <laughs> Let's go put this stuff in our house. Oh, we're horrible. <laughs> Good thing we can fit a lot into our backpack. <laughs> oh, that's funny. First, let's make, pick this up and move it. We need to make a proper bed, but for now. OK, 
Can you put the little plant on it? Well, wait, let's see what else. We also have this. Let's put that like at the foot of our bed. No. Put that there for now. I think I'm gonna reverse. I keep going into inventory. Um, let's move. you in the corner. Oh, that's cute. Oh, we can use that for storage. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is amazing. <laughs> I thought I could move things around in my inventory. I, maybe that comes a little later. I could have sworn there was a way to just click and drag stuff. Oh, but that looks really cute. <laughs> we stole from Oma and it paid off because we now have free storage. Yay! So I think this is a good place to wrap stuff up, you guys. Thank you again so very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And we'll see you on the next episode. Take care.